Hey everyone, and welcome to the Mark 10 Mission Little Liturgies. It's wonderful you are here to gather together and be with Jesus. Jesus promised that he will be with us always, even to the end of time. And we light our candle as a symbol that he is with us right now. In a moment, we will listen to Jesus's voice in the Holy Gospel. Just before that, we can take a look inside the Mark 10 bag to see if there are any more symbols to place on our green ordinary time cloth. In the Mark 10 bag, we have a statue. Take a close look. What do you notice about it? It's time for us to listen to Jesus's voice in the gospel. I invite you to be still and listen closely to what Jesus has to say. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus be in my thoughts, in my words, and in my heart. They came to Capernaum, and when Jesus was in the house, he asked his disciples, What were you discussing on the way? But they kept silent, for on the way they had argued with one another about who was the greatest. And he sat down and called the twelve, and he said to them, If anyone would be first, he must be last of all and servant of all. In the gospel, what did you hear? Jesus taught his 12 friends an important lesson. They had been arguing about which one of them was the best, the greatest. But Jesus said, if anyone wants to be first, he must make himself last of all. I bet the 12 didn't know what to say to that. On our prayer table, we have a statue. This is Saint Padre Pio. I'm really excited to tell you about Padre Pio because he can help us understand just what Jesus meant when he said the first must make themselves last of all. Padre Pio reminds me that the people who really stand out as being great are usually the ones who try their best to stay in the background. They're too busy thinking about other people to worry about looking good themselves. Padre Pio really wanted to stay hidden away in the background, living a quiet life serving God. But instead, he became famous and everybody wanted to meet him. Here's why. Padre Pio was a Capuchin priest and friar. Capuchins wear brown habits like this. And he lived in Italy during the last century. He stayed in the same monastery, a place Capuchins live, all his adult life. Every morning, he got up super early to pray and get ready for his favourite time of day, Holy Mass. He'd celebrate Mass and then begin meeting all the people who had travelled from across the world to see him. He heard their confessions and prayed with them. This would take all day and Padre Pio would keep seeing people late into the night. He'd then go to bed, get up and do it all over again. Padre Pio was very, very close to Jesus. Ever since he was a young boy, he'd loved to pray. As he got older, his whole life became one big prayer. He would talk to Jesus and listen to his voice all through the day. But there was more. When Padre Pio was 31, 
some big cuts started appearing on his hands, feet and side. The doctors had no idea why it was happening. And even when they were wrapped in bandages, the bleeding cuts wouldn't heal. It became clear that Padre Pio had been given the same injuries that Jesus suffered on the cross. He had these painful cuts for the next 50 years. Even though his body hurt, Padre Pio did amazing things with Jesus' help. He healed people, taking away their sickness or injuries. Padre Pio could also read people's hearts, meaning he had the gift to look at a person and know about their life, the things they'd done and who they were. There were moments where Padre Pio saw angels and even stories of him being in two places at once, visiting people in other parts of the world, healing them or saving them from danger. This miracle is called bilocation. No surprise, Padre Pio was very famous, but he always pointed people to Jesus and not himself. Padre Pio didn't choose to be great. In fact, he tried to be last and lovingly serve everyone. But that's exactly the type of greatness Jesus loves. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I invite you to close your eyes. Be still. Jesus is here. Saint Padre Pio was close to Jesus in prayer all the time. He listened to Jesus and spoke with him all through the day. Jesus is with you now. Have you something to share with him today? Is there something you can say thank you for? Padre Pio always asked for Jesus' help, especially for him to help other people. Is there someone you know needs Jesus' help? You can share that with Jesus. Padre Pio was full of the love of God. Let Jesus fill your heart with his love. Thank you, Jesus, that you fill us with your love. Help us to share your love with anyone in need and to put others first. Amen.
thanks for joining us today. Before we say goodbye, I want to invite you to our next Little Liturgy, when, I'm so excited to say this, we will be joining you from the town of Lourdes in France. In Lourdes, we will be starting our October Rosary Challenge and inviting your school and schools across the country to pray part of the Rosary with us each weekday in October. There's loads of information on our website about our challenge so everyone can get set to take part. It's going to be a huge wave of powerful prayer sweeping across the country. So please make sure you are with us. That's all to come. For now though, we hope you have a wonderful week. And remember something St. Padre Pio once said, pray, hope, and don't worry. Bye everyone.